131! Today we will be observing some scientists in their natural habitat. Let's observe. Hey guys! Oops. Okay mates, this is just... Look at this. First of all, she's wearing flip-flops. That's... I can't even. You're always supposed to wear closed toes shoes in the laboratory. <laughs> and also, you're never supposed to wear shorts. That will always expose your legs to any chemicals that you may spill on them. <laughs> hey guys, look at this model student right here. Closed toed shoes, lovely pair of jeans to cover up her legs, and long sleeves. You may enter. Hello, mates. Welcome back. This time we're going to do some techniques once we've started the laboratory. Now, since we have our proper attire. Shouldn't you have your goggles on? Are you serious? They're holding up my hair right now. Okay. This is not a fashion statement. It is a safety measure. You will always, always, always wear your goggles as this lovely student is. <laughs> That's much better. Perfect. Mates, welcome back. This time we're going to be observing some more laboratory procedures. Let's come on over. Wait! Oh, bloody hell, that was a close one. All right, let's zoom in on this. We have a young lady drinking out of a martini glass. That's absurd. She almost drank some, oh, mm, I don't even know what that is. A young, another young lady texting on her cellular mobile device and eating article darted choke dip <laughs> and Lay's potato chips. What do you think this is, a deli? All right, let's clean this up and do some correct laboratory procedures. Okay, mates, let's observe here what happened. Although she was wearing her safety goggles, she touched a chemical and then touched her eyes. While working in the laboratory, you should never touch any chemicals or anything you've been using, for that matter, in the laboratory and touch your eyes or ears or anywhere on your face. You should always make sure to wash your hands. But if you are ever in that situation where you need to use an eye wash, this is how you would use it. You will run up to it, like so, and you will squeeze the handle and put your eyes up to it. You should rinse your eyes for a total of 30 seconds to make sure you get everything out. We need to observe proper laboratory procedures or else there can be serious consequences. No! Look what 
what you did, you know, Chuck. Never dispose of waste in the sink. Always use a proper container. Hello, mates. Welcome back. This time we're going to dispose of waste in a proper container. You must always remember that waste that is hazardous to the environment needs to be disposed in the fume hood in the proper container. It should be labeled. And if you ever have any questions, don't be afraid to ask your lab professor. He or she should always be able to tell you the correct device. Now we are going to talk about the safety shower. Alright, in this case where there is clearly an accident happening in the laboratory, you must always remember that there is a safety shower present in each lab classroom so that if you get a caustic chemical such as acid on your body or skin, you can use it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry! What was that? Acid. Acid! Oh, not good! Okay. As you can see, she's clearly had some chemicals spilled all over her, which is why she's now gone for the safety shower. You must remember that when you need a safety shower, you must strip down all of your clothes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that means you are naked. Hello, mates. Friends. We're wrapping up our video today. Oh! oh! How could I forget? You must never run in the laboratory, or else the result may be injury or death. <laughs> but seriously, guys, running the laboratory can injure yourself or others, so don't do it, please.